Hi everybody, today I'm just going to talk you through the critical texts assessment. Um, I'm going to go over a breakdown of how to do it, mainly for people who are away or for people who were confused by the instructions in the booklet. Um, so hopefully this is pretty straightforward. Um, the first thing you need to do is to choose a text to be your primary text. Um, it could be something that we've studied in class. So for example, Sad Joke on a Marae is that poem um, that we looked at at the end of last term. Uh, Portiki is the novel that we studied. Uh, it might be one you studied in class a previous year. So I know a lot of classes study the Shawshank Redemption. Um, I like to teach the talented Mr. Ripley. Uh, lots of people might have done war poetry and so on. Uh, it might be one that you've read or watched recently and you liked it or you didn't like it. Uh, it might be an old favourite that you watch or read over and over. Or it might be something that you haven't actually read or watched yet but you have been wanting to for a while so you could take this opportunity to do it now. Once you've um, chosen your primary text you need to decide what you're going to investigate about the text. Uh, is there anything that you want to know about the text? Do you have any theories about the events or the characters you could look into? Were there any mysteries raised by the text? Um, or you could just brainstorm some questions about the text until something catches your attention. Once you've got a question, you need to use that to form a hypothesis. A hypothesis is an assumption, which is an idea that's proposed for the sake of argument so that it can be tested to see if it might be true. Um, so when you write your hypothesis, it needs to be worded in a way that your answer could be yes because or no because or this is true because or this is false because. The purpose of this assessment is for you to prove or disprove your hypothesis. Uh, one of the places where you can go wrong in this assessment is if you write your hypothesis in a way that makes it difficult for you to prove or disprove it. Um, steps four and five are when you find your critical texts. So you might have a fairly good idea before you start if your hypothesis is true or false, but without proof that counts for nothing. Um, so your critical texts are going to be your proof that you are right or you might find out that you're wrong. Um, for your proof to be convincing, you need to make sure that your critical texts, uh, text is appropriate, i.e. does the person know what they're talking about. Um, a way that you can figure out if a text is critical or not is by putting it through the CRAP test. Um, I'll put a document in files to break this down in more detail, but basically it stands for currency, which is to do with when it was written. Is it current or is it outdated? Relevance, is it relevant to the thing that you're talking about? Authority, how do we know that the person who is writing this knows what they're talking about? Accuracy, is it based on accurate science or is it just something that some guy made up and put on the internet? And purpose, who has published this and do they have any kind of bias? Um, they might be wanting you to buy something or they might have some kind of underlying agenda that they're trying to push. So we need to investigate that a little bit. If your source meets these criteria, therefore it is not crap and therefore it is suitable for the assessment. And lastly, you report on your findings. So you make notes in the booklet um, and it's your notes are about the primary text and both of the critical texts. And by using those notes, you should be able to prove or disprove your hypothesis. Um, and then you write up your findings. So you write up your own findings, which is your analysis of the primary text in relation to your hypothesis. And then your interpretation of each of your critical texts and how they prove or disprove your hypothesis. Um, just keep in mind your critical texts do not need to be about the primary text itself. They may be about an idea that relates to your hypothesis. Um, so your critical texts don't have to have anything necessarily to do with your primary text at all, except for the fact that it relates to your hypothesis. So an example, um, a primary text that I know really well because I teach it to my year 11s is I Am Legend directed by Francis Lawrence. Um, it's about a, um, a future world, although it's now set in the past um, because of, you know, when it came out. Um, and it was about a, um, a virus, um, surprisingly enough, it's kind of <laughs> suitable for our times at the moment, um, which basically changed the world and what it looked like. Um, one of the things that happens in the film is Dr. Neville tries to commit suicide and um, 
one thing that we could poke into a bit more is why he does that. Um, and so to form that into a hypothesis, so something where the answer could be this is true because or this is false because, um, I've posed this into a hypothesis that goes as follows. In the film I Am Legend, directed by Francis Lawrence, Dr. Robert Neville becomes suicidal as an effect of prolonged isolation. Um, so then what I would do is I'd go off and I'd research the topic of isolation and loneliness and what it does to human mental health and see if I can find something that says if you're alone for a long period of time it can cause mental health issues um, and then I'd try and find another one. So um, generally if you've got two things that say the same thing then you're going to be convincing and an NCEA convincing equals merit so I'm hoping to find two critical texts that say the same thing. I'm pretty sure that the answer is it's true but I can't prove it without finding critical texts to support this hypothesis. And then once I had my notes and stuff, if I'd filled out my notes as I went along, I would write it all up and so it'd be pretty straightforward. It would just be turning my notes into complete sentences and paragraphs and things. Um, another example um, is the primary text of the Shawshank Redemption, which I know a lot of people study at year 12, so you may have studied that one yourself. Um, question two, oh, sorry, number two, a question that I wanted to answer was why does Brooks commit suicide in the film? And when I made this PowerPoint, I didn't realise quite how filled with doom and gloom um, this all was, so I apologise. Um, and then if I, to form that question into a hypothesis, I could say in the film The Shawshank Redemption, directed by Frank Darabont, Brooks becomes suicidal as a consequence, oh, I've got a typo in there, sorry, as a consequence of institutionalisation. And then I'd research the topic of institutionalisation and what it does to human mental health and see if I can find something that says if you are in prison for a long period of time, it can cause mental health issues. And then I'd try and find another one that um, supports my idea. I'm pretty sure that the answer is it's true, but again, I can't prove it unless I've got the critical text to support um, my, my hypothesis and then again I'd write it all up and um, yeah that filling out your note pages as you go along makes this much more straightforward. So to sum it all up initially this assignment sounds quite complicated so don't feel embarrassed if you took a while to get your head around what you're supposed to do. Um, if you have no idea what text to do you can use any of the examples we've gone over in class or in this PowerPoint. It's not part of the criteria that you have to make this stuff up yourself and um, the teacher can give you a primary text and can give, help you write your hypothesis. Um, so the teacher is allowed to help you find your primary text and your critical text. Therefore, if you get stuck, make sure you ask for help. And if you have any more questions, please ask because if you are wondering, you can guarantee there will be at least one other person in the class who's also wondering. And so asking your question will help them as well. Hopefully this has helped you out. If you are still stuck or you're still unsure of what to do, please let me know and I will try and um, help you figure it all out. Bye.